amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. The imperative for everyone, three points on opening day. Well, Peter, I can tell you that both managers will have stressed the need for a very strong start here. Both have also indicated a, a front-foot approach. If that is the case, then I don't think we're going to be complaining at the end. I certainly hope we'll be eulogising. There's an awful lot resting on this, and we'll probably end up reflecting on that. And as you can see, we've already started here. Hits one! And he's done it! What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Up towards the front line, cuts it out. Could move up a gear here. A really good feat. Leaves it from behind. Finds himself eased off the ball. Plays it out to the wing. Whipped in. Now the counter. Chip through. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. And here's it will be. What a has a hit! Sticks it away! They have brought themselves an equaliser. Oh what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. There's a long ball. Looks to thread it through. Incoming cross. That intervention was very necessary. It will be. Nigeria can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession.
And Didi goes looking. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Tries to switch the play. And Didi. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. And that's sprayed out wide. Floats one over. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Good idea, just poorly executed. Forward it goes. Oh, that's nice. That's found its target. Goes for the cross. He's got the ball, he's got the space. And he has been fouled there. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. And the weighted pass, timely intervention. Ndidi, he's there to try the shot! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Good save, he got a decent fist on that. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So, a very watchable game so far, action at both ends and the team's level. What have we learned from the first 40 for the second half? It's been a decent 45 minutes, competitive certainly, and a goal each. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Nigeria can feel really happy with themselves, the scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose, and can't afford to lose patience in this second half, they've got to persevere. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. He could be in here. Shapes to shoot! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Iwobi knocks it away. Oh, that is asking for trouble. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Shooting chance! 
It's off target and by quite a way. All he'll be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. It will be. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. <laughs> that was travelling. to throw. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. And it's played forward. Cleared away. And it's a Wobie. finish in the end what do you think Jim yeah and teamwork was key to that a beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box the second of the game and an eye now for the hat trick Nigeria take the lead and yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around But they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair He's in space and looking for options But this is exactly the approach they have to take though Peter. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it isn't it Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Now the cross. Great leap! Harmlessly behind. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition it already has actually yeah his instinct and the timing of his runs have proven fruitful but they have to give him a harder time like that it will be and he gobbles up the 
chance. A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Oh, how's that for a class finish? I just thought he knew exactly what he was doing by feigning to move one way and then readjusting back. Control triple. So the lead now is two. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. It's a loose ball. And a play for a throw. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so... It's no surprise. Beautifully done. Deep cross. And the shot! He scores! And they are dragging it back! Game on again! Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now, that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. This is threatening to become a really good game. I think they've done so well to get back in it, but it's important now that they don't become over-eager in chasing another. They only need one more chance. Patience is key. He's got options out wide. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Looking for a decent ball in. Gets wrestled off the ball. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Ndidi. Almost there, and the players can feel it to get it forward quickly. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Ndidi. Nigeria have it back and they can go again. Tries to stroke it through. Four added minutes on the board. Well, what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. Time for a change in personnel. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. He can get that clear. And the referee brings it to a close. Oh, that's the way to launch the campaign. They can look ahead with confidence and comfort. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking?